Okay. All right, looks like we're live on Facebook and on YouTube and on Instagram. And uh, we're going to be, I have a really fun pro lesson planned for you guys. We're doing our, uh, uh, I guess we could kind of call this re re restarting up the, uh, the hour of pencil power idea. Remember back, remember that melody back in uh, March when COVID first hit, March 13th, and my son and I started those hour of pencil power every day at noon central, and we went for 73 days until summer camp started, summer, the virtual Zoom summer camps, and we did an hour of pencil power every day. Hi, Fatima. Hi, Melody. Good to see you guys. Hello, Tim Decker. It's wonderful seeing you today. I'm going to be doing a, a bunch of drawings. Uh, we're going to, hey, Fatima, your hair looks terrific. Look at you. Oh, you got your hair all done. Hey, here's Luca coming in for my Zoom. So I'm, uh, I've got YouTube on and Instagram and Facebook, and we're kind of inviting the world to come on to our drawing lesson today. And I see uh, Melody's on Instagram. Hi, Melody. Good to see you. Hey, we have Sarah on here. Hi, Sarah, on Instagram. And uh, let's see wh who's on Facebook so I can respond to Facebook here. Let's see. I haven't uh, been monitoring that. Got a lot of stuff I want to talk about today. Mara and I discovered a new walking trail. That's the big exciting news. Hey, there's Richard Alvin Blanchard. Melody's on all three. I had a, an interesting time getting all the, the logos up there for that one. But I, I put that the summer camp. First of all, I had the summer camp up here and the virtual school assemblies down over here. But then I wanted the, the summer camp down here because Instagram only gets half the screen. So you got you people. Now, if I turn it sideways, it just it's no one's going to watch it, huh? If I turn the screen sideways on Instagram, like I, if I orient orient it, that that yeah. If I did it that way, should should I do it that way or don't do it that way? I should. All right. If I if I orient it that way, you get more of the picture, don't you? And then everybody's got it, but then I don't see. Well, I guess I can kind of see the the logos. I need you guys to send me a text if you like that. Is that better? Do you guys on Instagram, do you like that better or not better? What do you think? Do you like it better that I turned it sideways, Melody? Is that better? You get more of the screen? Okay, well, we have Luca. We have Fatima. I was, I'm was. i thinking that Una's going to come on and uh, and Kate, Caitlin. Um, well, welcome, everybody. Hi, this is just, just kind of shaking off the... The, uh, um, the weekend of relaxing, I tell you, uh, we did a lot of hiking. I hope you guys had a good Easter weekend uh, f f with friends and family, social distance and masked, I hope. And um, let's get going. So, uh, I, oh, the big thing is yesterday we got over 200 books. I'm totally caught up with uh, books that were ordered up to last week. So you, all your books are coming. These books right here, you can draw in 30 seconds. So if you're waiting for a book, it's right here. Hey, we got Scotland going. Pencil Power Scotland. Do you guys like it turned sideways? I turned the, I'm, I'm trying Instagram sideways here. All right. And then Facebook. Anybody else on Facebook? Let me see here. Well, let's get going. We're going to be drawing. Uh, real quick, we got uh, summer camp coming up. Uh, you go to my virtual Zoom. Uh, Go to uh, uh, my website, markkissler.com. I have 14 summer camps coming up. It's going to be awesome. I hope you guys sign up. It's going to be really cool. Uh, we're going to talk about using today. We're going to use the drawing direction compass. This is going to be very handy. We're going to use the 12 Renaissance words, and we're going to practice the uh, uh, this black pencil level, level 9, like the karate level. We're going to practice some steps. We're going to draw. If and I took it out of the... I had it all the play saver in there and I took it right out when I was showing you. So now I got to find there we go. We're going to draw 
in lesson nine of the book. Let me just go. Let's just start for the beginning of lesson nine here. Lesson nine of the book. Uh, step. Okay, here's lesson. It's the step. Okay, so we're going to talk about this lesson right here, drawing this step in three D, and I want to draw this penguin in the spa. I think that looks like a fun one. We'll draw that one. What do you think, Melody? Do you like that one? We'll draw the penguin in the spa, which is page one twenty nine, and I want to talk about the the what it takes to put the step together. So I spent several t pages talking about the drawing direction compass, direction southwest, and direction southeast. And I explained the drawing direction compass in depth here, and I'll be doing that a little bit today. And then we start talking, and then look at how we use the drawing direction compass to draw these steps in ancient Egypt. Isn't that cool? Now, every lesson in the, uh, in the You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book, it comes with the time challenge skill level where I want you to build up your drawing, uh, your positive mindset, your drawing instinct, your drawing confidence, and your drawing enthusiasm. I got it for my co-assistant out there in Northern California, Melody. Put that in the text box, Melody. Mice. Developing mice, which is the mindset, the instinct, the confidence, and the enthusiasm right here. I'm going to lower this camera just a bit. All right. So every lesson for the steps, we, we practice with the time level to get you to draw without any, any hesitation. Then we get into the uh, variation. So I want to draw this this little guy, the step lesson, the little monster guy coming out of the doorway. All right, so I'm going to put that to the side here, and we're going to practice that step. So I have, you know what, I need to come up with another side. Look at, I have, I don't have any extra room at all. Can you believe this? Oh my goodness. I have, I have absolutely no extra room to put my book, so I know what, what I'm drawing. I, isn't this something? I'm looking around every single inch of my drawing. I, I, there's nowhere to put it. I'll just have to very carefully put it up here. All right. Wow, I covered every inch of my... You should see my room uh, in here, you guys. Every... Uh, from my left shoulder all the way around to my right shoulder, every surface is covered. All right. Pencil power, you guys. Pencil power time. Just take off with pencil power. Hey, Melody, is everybody happy on YouTube? No trolls? No comments. Yay. Look at digital hug for everybody today. Big hamster hug. Come on, Una. Come on, Luca. Come on, Fatima. We have our Zoom kids up there. Uh, Melody, you want to grab my hand on on uh, on Zoom, and then you want to push record? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're recording now. Welcome, you guys. This is our uh, Fine Arts Academy. I'm glad you guys are here. We've invited the world to join us today. We've invited the world, invited the world to join us in this wonderful Turbo Tuesdays. Uh, I wanted to mention you guys for the recording people. Uh, summer summer art camps are being are open from my website. I hope you guys can check it out and log in. All right, let's get going. Put a dot in the middle of your piece of paper, and we're gonna do get four squares. Draw very lightly, very lightly. Just get it positioned there. And once you get it positioned, let's see if we can get this. There we go. Now, we're going to start in square number one. And we're going to draw the step coming down here in direction south, southeast. So let's put two dots straight across from each other. Start with a four shortened square. Let me zoom in these these cameras here. Get my cameras. And then put your finger in the middle. Put a dot above your finger. Put a dot below your finger. We're going to draw a four shortened square. All right, we're going to take this and we're going to draw a four shortened square. Four shortening is one of those 12 Renaissance words. It means squish and distort. Okay. Four shortening. I'm going to write that. For shortening, it's one of the Renaissance words of drawing, so you can go ahead and write that word. For shortening equals squishing and distorting. Very, very important word. For instance, look at my minion's eyes. <laughs> I love the minion. I actually taught the 
fellows who created the Minions had a draw back in the 1990s. If you look at the Minion, if you look at the, the eye, you see that circle? Now watch as I turn that circle away. As I turn that eye, it becomes a squished foreshortened shape. Foreshortening. Look at my, my shameless plug for my Draw 3D website. It's a round logo. So if you take this logo and if you if you tilt it away from you, it becomes squished. You see, we're squishing, we're distorting those shapes as they come uh, further away. All right. Hello, Mary Curtis. Mary Curtis, I just uh, shipped you your, your next book. It's honest. We actually did a little drawing in the book for you. All right. So now we're going to draw the middle line. I'm, I'm drawing starting very lightly, and I'm going to draw dark as we go. Middle line's a little bit longer. My cat, it got, I was petting my cat, and it was being playful. Look, at it just thrashed my arm. It was like, I was like, dude, not cool, not cool. Don't rip up my drawing arm, not cool. All right, middle line's lower than this side. That's placement, near things are lower. It's one of those 12 words. See right here, go uphill to the follow this line. See, going uphill. Now, I call this line right here with our drawing direction compass. Remember, we're using the drawing direction compass, and we're using the 12 Renaissance words, very important words. This is direction northeast. I follow this. Now, this line coming down here in southeast, I'm going to follow that. It's going to be basically another foreshortened square. I'm going to duplicate this. This will be another step right here. Okay. All right. Now, this is a great one. Okay. Madeline Una wants to draw the penguin cruise ship. That's a clever idea. Middle line's longer. Una, you always have the most creative ideas. Now, Una, I got your book autographed and shipped out, too. I shipped out 200 books yesterday. from, So I'm all caught up for all the books that have been ordered for last year and this year. So exciting. Middle line's longer. That's placement. Go uphill. See, so follow these lines. We're just going to... And now I'm going to start darkening in the edges. Follow this line. This line now goes up what, what we call direction northwest. You see that? That line goes up in direction northwest. Going uphill. All right. Do you love it? Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now, now the sun, the, sun, the light's over here. The sun's coming. From, I'm going to put the light for all of our drawing. I'm going to put the light coming from the top right. So I'm going to keep, I'll keep the light what a shock. I've been doing that for 40 years now, putting my light coming from the top right. So now darken in the edges, darken, 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 and then let's shade. Let's shade over here. So this will be a simple version, and then we'll do a variation version below. But this is, uh, uh, remind me uh, in the book, uh, Melody, what, uh, this is lesson, I, I can look right here, where you were doing step number lesson nine. The black pencil level. So this is lesson nine that we're focusing on today, which is the step coming down in southeast. Lesson nine. And what page is that, Melody? I'm gonna. You can help me out here. I'll put the page number here. And if you have the book at home, follow along. Here we're gonna add the shading. Now I'm just doing single hatch here, doing these lines coming down in one. Now we can do different shading styles. There's that single hatch. Now we can cross hatch it by doing another row. I, when I was in high school, I would uh, pen and ink. I would use an old pen called a rapidograph. And I would do so many of these. So many of these. It's so great to have Scotland watching and drawing with us on Instagram. And uh, I, can't, I can't tell how many are you on YouTube. Uh, it's in the, in the chat box, Melody. Do we have some folks on YouTube? In the chat box, let me know. Good to have you guys drawing with me on Facebook, on YouTube, on Zoom, on Instagram. Oh, such a, a great way to get out to the world. Get your creativity going for today. Uh, right, here, right here. Looking good. Oh, you're on YouTube. Una, how many do you see on YouTube as viewing here? Take your pencil. We're going to put a, we're going to draw a monster that's inside. We're going to draw a monster inside the uh, uh, 
the cave in just a second. I'm putting the shadow. Now, the shadow, now watch this. Using our drawing direction compass. Now, this this is actually a page. See? Oh, you know what? I did the I, I put the step in the wrong direction. Ha, ah, that's funny. We put the step in this direction, coming in southwest in the book, and I just did it in southeast. Look at that. I did totally opposite. It's all right, because now you have... You have practice for your time levels because you got to learn how to draw both in direct and southeast and in southwest with three levels, five levels, and it goes up all these different time levels. Now, in the back of the book, back here, you have all these charts, okay? You have the 99 pencil power chart. Okay, that's in the back of the book, page 177. And you have the Renaissance word chart, the 12 Renaissance words. You have the drawing direction compass chart. Now, remember, you can't get this book on Amazon. You can draw in 30 seconds. You got to get it at my website, which is right there at the bottom of your screen, markkessler.com. Order it, and I'll get it shipped out to you. I'm completely caught up, which I'm proud to say I'm, I'm caught up. So uh, I, the shipment will go out. My goal is to get you, you get your book shipped out within a few days of when you order it. Okay. All right. Now let's let's go on. Let's do the the uh, variation. Now we did our step, which is a great practice. So now for the step, let's do a variation. I want to draw this. I want to draw this this guy right here. I want to draw that scary monster coming out. So I'm going to see if I could if I put this. I wonder if I. Maybe I should put some paper across so I won't get any keys. What I'm trying to do, I'm going to see if I can do this without ruining my setup here. I'm going to put paper to protect. I'm going to put it right on top of the computer keys. I'm trying to get it so it won't. Hey, Emilio, all the way from Guatemala. Did you get Leah's book sent too? I sent every book order that I had uh, in there, so it, I'm sure I did. I'm sure. Now, Mary, you let me know if she doesn't get it within about three, four days. Let's say today's Tuesday. Let me know if she doesn't get it by Saturday, okay? Because I sent them out media rate. All right, so we're going to draw the really cool monster guy over here. I want to put this guy up here. I'm going to kind of adjust the camera. And let's put that over here. All right, so I want to draw this. This wall coming down here, this cliff edge. All right, I'm going to draw that. This will be the cliff edge. And then right about here, I'm going to draw this doorway. I'm going to sketch in this cool doorway. This will be where the monster's peeking out here. All right. Kind of a cool doorway. The monster's going to be peeking out here. It's kind of jaggedy. I start really loose and sketchy. Really loose and sketchy. Now, using our drawing direction compass, I always keep this in my mind, these four positions. In fact, right here, let's draw a drawing direction compass reference cube right here, okay? I'm going to take my eraser. I'm going to put two dots right here. I'm going to just draw a drawing direction cube right here, two dots. And then I'm going to put it right in the middle. Right here in the middle, I'm going to put a dot above and below. And I'm going to draw the four shortened square. I, I've done this before, and I guarantee we'll do it again. I always write in the, write in the smack dab middle of my page. I do what I call a, a reference block to help us really keep this mind, these directions in mind. Middle line's longer. That's placement. That's no, not straight across. Go uphill to the right. Go uphill to the left. I hope you guys are drawing with me out there in YouTube world and Instagram world and Facebook world and Zoom world. Now... Let's go ahead and draw our directions, our, our reference angles. See, that doesn't have to be perfect. Don't stress. Stress is on the bus. No stress, you guys. Stress is on the bus. Beep, beep, beep. Someone in the text box, type in beep, beep, beep. In Facebook, someone type in beep, 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 beep. No stress, you guys. We're developing pencil power. This is how you get pencil power. You practice, you practice. Take your finger, everybody. Take your finger and say, aha. Let me hear you in Fatima and Luca and Una and Melody and Scotland, people in Instagram and Facebook. Say, aha. We're learning the suns above. So let's add this shading on our drawing direction compass. Let's shade the side opposite. Then put a shadow on the ground here. 
See that? Angle that up. So we're going to take this these. Now this is direction southwest. This is direction northwest. All right. This is direction. This is direction uh, northeast. I always get that mixed up and southeast. All right. Look good. You guys are doing good. Good job. Bottom on Luca, Una, and uh, Mary Curtis. There's em e Emilio all the way in Guatemala. Good to see you guys. Now, so we're going to use these drawing directions. So watch this. I'm going to draw this drawing direction northeast. I'm going to draw a northeast line right there, and then I'm going to draw a line in northwest right here. I'm going to use these guidelines. So this will be this edge of this cliff coming down here and starting to darken it in here. Now, this doorway is going to be on a ledge, so I'm going to put a, put a dot right here. That's going to be my guide point. And I'm going to put a foreshortened circle coming around here. See this? I'm going to put a four shortened circle, and this this cliff edge will, will come out to about right there. See this ledge attached to the edge here? See what I'm doing? I'm going to put this really fancy schmancy little ledge here. All right, now, uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this uh, this yet, but it's going to be really cool. I'm not, I know I'm going to put a stairway coming down. So watch what I'm going to do here. Let's... Let's take this, and right away, I think what I'll do is I'll put, I'll put a, uh, let me see how I'm going to do this. Oh, this is interesting, very interesting. This is a challenge, you guys. This is a challenge. How are we, how am I going to put a, a stairway? I don't have, see what happens. Look, I don't have room over here on the edge. I'm running out of room, so I'm trying to think of a clever way to get a, a stairway going. And I guess what I could do is I could I can notch it. I think I'll put a notch. That's what I'll do. I think what I'll do is I'll draw this line here. Now watch what I'm gonna do. This is, I think you're gonna like this. Um, I'm gonna draw a, a line here. I'm gonna draw this really interesting notch. Okay, this will be cool. See what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use alignment and erase. Until I get it right, what I got to do is I got to pull this out a little bit more to give me some more room. Okay. So I'm going to put this four short and cool notch right here. See what I did? I did it using alignment. So it'll be a step, a step coming down. I'm going to draw a vertical back here. And I'm going to draw a step inside here. You can see that little step coming down, vertical. I'm going to see this step coming down here. Oh, there we go. So we, we come up to this step right here. See what I did? Isn't that interesting? See, I drew I drew the, and then make it kind of the dirt, the edge of the dirt. Not It's not super straight and solid. So it's carved out of dirt. Okay. Little edge coming down here. Do you guys like that so far? Uh Oh, hello, Roxette, Roxkin. Good to see you on Facebook. We're we're glad here. All right, so we got we have this cool little monster step. Now let's draw let's draw this monster's uh, face. He's kind of peering out here. Rah, there's this monster's face coming out here, and this guy is going to have this one eye. So I'm going to put his draw his uh, eyebrow, and then his eye. I'm going to tuck it back. His eyes. Back underneath there, see it's hidden behind the the edge of this, and I'll draw the the little monster's fingers overlapping. See, we start very light, we start very very light, and we keep going. We start adding more and more details. We start blocking it in. So I'm going to draw. Look at this. I use overlapping, and I'm going to overlap one of those twelve words. Remember, these words are very very handy. You can print up a chart. This free this chart is free, the 12 Renaissance words. You go to my draw3d.com website, go to the printables, you can print that chart up. And here this is overlapping. Look at this, this finger overlaps here, and that finger overlaps. And then coming down here, I want to put his claws coming out here. So I'm gonna overlap. I'm gonna overlap this one, overlap this one. He's like peeking out here. I'm going to give him these claws. Then I'm going to put some, uh, put some eyebrow, put some fur here. Fur, fur, fur. 
And then there's his eyes. And then watch this. See this? Just draw the fur. I draw that texture. That's the word called texture. It's one of those one of those art terms. See in the back of the book that you can draw in 30 seconds book. In the very back of the book, I have this this chart. It's called the 22 augmenting art chart, and it has all these all these art words. And one of these words right here is texture. When you add fur to the gorilla, or add fur to the dog, or the kitty cat, or bricks to the wall, or leaves on a tree. All these words will help you make your drawing uh, look even more delicious for your eye. The 12 Renaissance words help your drawing look 3D because they're using squish and distort. Because 3D, 3D uh, drawing, 3D drawing is creating the illusion the illusion, right? The illusion of near and far, right? Of near and far uh, depth, the th third dimension, D-E-P-T-H, depth. Adding that depth, okay? That's what we're doing, adding depth. Write that down so we can get it. Uh, 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 so Roxanne likes our Cyclops. That's cool. I'm going to have this little eye right here, put a little... re. Put a little reflection. This darken in that pupil. This is great. How is uh so YouTube is good? I had to take the comments off, you guys, but you still can watch me on YouTube. I'm glad you're there. I'm sorry that you can't send comments. I guess you could put comments in the comment box after it's it's posted, right? But I sure would like to know where you guys on YouTube are watching from. And uh thanks. Uh, hey, Mela, give me a thumbs up. Are the are the comments still disabled on YouTube? Yeah, we had we had some very uh, very very distracting trolls, so we had to turn it off. All right. Um, I'm glad you guys are here on Facebook with me. Beep beep beep. No stress. Now look at the with the thickness here is on the left side of that doorway. So draw that thickness. Draw that thickness here. And we're very excited here in this household because Mario's been waiting for over a month to uh, Home Depot here in Spring, Texas, is donating to Mario because Mario, Mario just loves house cleaning. And here's Mario. He does lawn mowing and vacuuming. That's his GoFundMe there. It's Mario, Mighty Mario's 2021 Dream Quest. That's not going to fund me if you're going to read a story. But Home Depot is donating a $300 rental for a whole week to Mario so Mario can practice his his carpet shampooing for when COVID's over. He can start helping people get his, their carpet shampooed. And they're donating this, this rental machine to his GoFundMe effort. I just thought that was so cool. So as soon as we're finished... With our lesson today, as soon as we're finished with our lesson today, we're going to go to Home Depot and we're going to pick up this carpet extractor, they call it, a carpet extractor. And I'm excited. He's been, he's been waiting for, he's been waiting for a long time to get this carpet extractor. He's, he's ready for it. All right, look at, let's shade this down here. Look, I'm putting some shading down here. See, it's dark up here. Now, i got to be careful. This is a really dark value inside. This is a little bit of a lighter value. So I'm taking my pencil and getting a little bit lighter up here. A little bit lighter. And then, look, I, now I still need to shade the, the uh, monster guy. So I'm going to make the monster guy. Got to make this a different. Look, I'm putting some texture on this, too, to separate it. But I don't. I want the monster guy to stand apart. I want to make sure the monster guy stands apart from the background and from the thickness of the wall of the cliff. So here's where it becomes interesting. You have to do layer upon layer. Like I want to do a shadow under the little his little claws here. Then I got to put a shadow between the claws. 
You just take your time and do layers. See how that little shadow picks it up? Isn't that cool? We'll zoom that in a little bit here. I'll zoom that in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right. Now, I want to do a, a, just a little... Look at this. I could do a little bit of a value here on the side of the cliff. I like the scribble technique. See, I'm just scribbling. Put a little bit underneath the claws, a little bit under the against the cliff wall, and underneath that jagged claw. You see how that picks it up here? I'm darkening in that edge. And then down here, look, I got to put a shadow under his head coming out. See this on the ground? I'm going to put a shadow on the ground. You see how that kind of picks that head up? So then I definitely want to get around the eye. See this? Take your time. See, it's just, there's a lot of different values. When you're just using pencil, I'm not using color to help uh, separate the objects. You got to just use different pressures of your pencil and you get some, get noodle down there. All right, so there's, this is that. Now, again, what we're doing is we're doing this variation on page 136, my book, You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. I, boy, I sure hope you order it. I'm all caught up with all the shipping. I've shipped out hundreds and hundreds in the past three weeks. We got the, I have, uh, but I'm about to order my next 1,000 from the printer because we're almost through the first thousands. I was so excited. But if you want to order it, order it, and I'll sign it, and I'll ship it out to you, markkistler.com. It's not on Amazon. I self-published it. What we're doing right now is we're practicing lesson number nine, which is variations of the step. We're doing that variation right there. All right, so now I'm going to, uh, I'm not doing exact what's in the book because I didn't have room. So I put a notch right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have I'm going to put, have a step. I'm going to put a foreshortened square here. So watch how I do this. I'm going to put this, put a line following this guideline. And I'm going to put a foreshortened square, a stepping stone right here, right? Foreshortened. Now, basically, I'm going to take this step and I'm going to turn the direction and have it come in this way. So I'm going to draw. Now, this is, I'm drawing very light because this is going to be a very jagged edge here, okay? It's going to be really jagged. So. And then this one will, will kind of disappear behind. Now watch. I'm going to follow this guideline, vertical line here. That goes up in direction, following this line and direction, looking at our drawing direction compass in northwest. This is really fun. It's really, it's tricky, but it's really fun. So I'm going to draw, follow, see this? Now, be, the, this is just takes practice. Don't get frustrated. I know you guys, you're drawing. It takes several times for this to look three-dimensionally correct, all right? So no stress. Stress is on the bus. Give yourself the license to make mistakes because you ha really, you have to fail to succeed. I want your steps to be all messy and floppy and droopy to begin with. Remember, uh, stress is on the bus. Beep, 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 beep. Just practice, you guys. Just practice. Don't worry, you guys. You guys are geniuses. You're geniuses with pencil power. Everybody take your finger and Tip, click your nose, the tip of your nose, your genius button. That's cool, you guys. I'm watching you guys on Zoom. I'm watching Luca and Una and Fatima and Melody. I'm watching you guys. I'm watching you guys. Hey, uh, Fatima, Luca, Una, are you watching me on YouTube or Facebook too? Because you can see my, my face. You can. You can log in if you have another device. You can see it's pretty fun. I'm down. There's a, there, you can see my face the whole time down in the corner. Yay! Una, are you on YouTube or Facebook, Luca? Okay, go like this. If you are, if you're watching on YouTube, you have to uh, follow me. What am I doing? You're supposed to do. You're supposed to do what I'm doing. I'm trying to. I'm test. I'm testing to see if you are. Oh, Una's saying I'm not. I'm not going to do jazz hands. I'm not doing jazz hands. All right, look at this. We got Instagram, folks. Hi. A shout out to Instagram, shout out to Facebook. Hey, here's Michelle McNair. I'm Mich Mich Michelle McNair on McNair, McNair on Facebook. Oh, thank you so much. She's telling me about how she's growing up and she watched me and she's so happy she could cry. Boo hoo, cry baby. Michelle, cry baby, cry baby. <laughs> 
I'm glad. Hey, Greg Bradburn. Greg, how you doing? I miss your family on uh, uh, Saturday nights. Or I'm sorry, you were, the Bradburn family used to draw with us every night at 6.30, and then we changed it just Monday nights at 6.30. So Bradburns were still, were still on on Monday nights. It's called uh, Mighty Mondays. It's called Mighty Mondays. And if you guys, if you sign up for draw3d.com, you guys, you not only do you get hundreds and hundreds of lessons, I believe there's over 400. I think there's close to 500. I have to do a count. But we do live every day. Or, I'm sorry. We do live every Monday at 630, Mighty Mondays, uh, with the Draw3D family at 630. Okay, so I'm doing a step here. Look at this. Step's coming down. Doing a step coming down. Middle line's longer. And I'm going to pull this out so you can see a little bit about what I'm doing here. This is cool. And then I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put another step here. Now, for this step, I think what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to have this 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 step kind of go, go turn into a road going behind here. All right, so this is this will be like this uh, this uh, a pathway. Okay, is that cool? All right, so then take your eraser. Say so I use the alignment. I use I, I I follow I made that path go uphill the same as the northwest direction. All right, clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up, and I'm going to come out here now on this one. Maybe I'll put a few of the little grass tufts coming down here. I'll put the wrinkles, and I'll tuck that inside here. And then this this one's kind of a, a cracking. Uh, just a, a, a an edge of a dirt edge there and then take your eraser let's clean up now now i'm going to take this i want to go ahead and shade the uh, inside of that step darken them i'm going to darken in all the see the edges darken it and push hard with your pencil and let me zoom this out just a bit so you can see what I'm doing. How are you guys doing on on uh, Zoom? Are you guys doing good with my Zoom? All right. Melody, do you want to do a round robin student art gallery while I keep shading here for Facebook and Instagram and YouTube? Can you, uh, let's see, everybody hold up your, your drawings to the camera. I wish I could show you the Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, Melody, that's a wonderful drawing. Fatima, look at these. Look at these. Luca, I, I love Zoom. I love that you can hold up your drawing. I can see your face. I can see your expressions. I can see you practicing. Nice job. I, I need to see. Hello, Auntie. Hi, Auntie Lena. Auntie Lena. Did I say, I say that right? Auntie Lena from uh, Fatima. Where's Una? Una. Where, there's Una. Here, Una always does this. This is the Una maneuver. Una always comes in from the side. She comes in from the side and gives us a big smile on her camera. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of shadow on the inside here and put a little cast shadow on the ground. Now, let's come back up here. we got to give this the mountain some kind of a texture, just a light texture to separate it from the sky. Okay, now remember, I'm going to keep this. I want to keep the edges different, keep the, keep the value different just enough. Take, I'm going to take my finger and kind of blend it with my finger there. See, I gave it a little value, blend it with my finger. You can use your stompy too, but I'll just use my finger sometimes. Okay, put a shadow here. Put a shadow. And that one. Uh, Tom Fertile, thank you. Tom Tom Fertrell. Thanks, that. Thanks, Tom. Little monster coming out here. Rah. Just just having fun today. Getting our now I want to make this dirt, so I'm gonna kind of make it craggly. See this little edges, some cracks. See it's m missing some edge over there. See kind of kind of crackly. And then I'm gonna put this kind of roadway going around here. And then look at I just on purpose. I want to make it not straight and perfect, but just the. I just I do love hanging some some of these little. Little uh, weeds or grass on the edge. All right, now just a reminder, you guys, if you're having fun, remember we have 
our digitals, our Zoom summer art camps coming up here. You go to my website at the bottom of the screen. Summer, I have 14 weeks of summer art camps. And if you uh, sign up for my Draw 3D, which is recorded lessons, draw3d.com, I got a, a, a discount for you. Go, uh, I'll give you half off to Kistler 50. How's that? Here, let me, I'll, I'll, get, I'll write that on the back of this. Here, how's this? This is, this is the discount. If you want to extend your year of membership, Instead of $200, it'll be $99. There's the secret code, half off for you. And with that membership, you get every Monday live, drawing every Monday with us, okay? And you also get you get the nine one-hour episodes, the NASA Draw Artemis, okay? We did a live series with NASA, nine one-hours of drawing the components, and that's part of Draw 3D, drawing the components to the Mission to the Moon Artemis program. It was so cool. We interviewed astronauts, and uh, there were guests on the show, engineers, NASA scientists. It's very cool. Let's shade the side down here. Let's shade it. I'm using, I'm going to put a little cash shadow on the side of the mountain, a little cash shadow on the, on the floor of that next step here. All right, looking good, you guys. All jagged and... Now, we'll be back here again tomorrow at 11 o'clock Central Time in the morning. I'll, uh, I'll have my Zoom kids here with me. Hello, Zoom kids of my Fine Arts Academy. And I'll be inviting the world to, to draw with us. This is kind of a, kind of a uh, anniversary of when Mario and I did, my son Mario and I did our Hour of Pencil Powers. We did 73. And all those Hour of Pencil Powers are now available on Draw3D.com. Go to Draw3D.com, uh, click on Lessons, and, and scroll down those lessons, and you'll take a quick look at some of those drawings from the Hour of Pencil Power. It was very cool. So this is kind of our... Here, I can show you. Here's, here's just a sampling of some of those Hour of Pencil Power. Now, these are all on Draw 3D membership. These are all on that membership right there, Draw 3D. These are some of the lessons. I don't know if you guys remember these. The big dinosaur butts. We're doing a little combination of the... We did sharks. You guys remember these? Anybody? We did the birds. We did the penguins. These are just a little sample of all of our... And the frogs. Isn't that fun? So, lots and lots of good stuff here. Here, let me show you. I'll show you. Here's here's these lessons from Artemis. We did the... Uh, these are these are on Draw 3D, too. These are all up on Draw 3D. This is the one-hour lesson of the gateways. We had the NASA uh, engineer who uh, was managed the gateways, is managing the building of the gateways satellite that's going to orbit the moon. And then the Orion spacecraft we uh, had on the show with us, the engineer and the team leader for the moon exploration vehicle. We had the uh, scientist who helped design the Orion crew survival system spacesuit. And we had the scientist who helped design the XEMU, the uh, moon exploration unit. And we uh, we had the engineer for the launch tower, the person who's in charge of that giant. This, this thing is so big, it holds the, the, the largest rocket to ever lift off from the planet Earth. And then we did this special, uh, then we did this special episode called um, uh, your moon kit. Draw your moon kit. What would you take to the moon? If you because all the astronauts going to the moon could take personal items, it's about the size of a macaroni and cheese box. And for me, I wanted to bring a bagel toaster. That was my that was my uh, moon kit. So lots of great stuff. Lots of great stuff on draw3d.com. Okay, now remember if you want to get a membership for that, there's your half off membership. Better yet, pick a week this summer. There's 14 weeks and sign up for my summer art camp. We'd love to have you guys. Love and love, love. Well, let's get back to our drawing. Let's shade underneath here. Let's shade underneath here. Put some wrinkles. And then I'm going to put a shadow. See this? I'm going to get a nook and cranny shadow back here. Do a little nook and cranny back here. 
and shade underneath there. Shade, shade, shade. Do you guys love it? So I'm looking, I got to put a whole value on this one. So take your time. And this is the fun part. This is the frosting. So take your time. Don't rush this part. Enjoy it. This 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 is the, the part you worked so hard for when you started with your basic lines. You started just shaping and forming and molding. So just enjoy this, this part right here. Putting that extra shading. I just take this time to add some more uh, darkness. And then definitely underneath the edges. See this? You see what I'm doing here? I'm adding a little bit underneath here. A little bit of here. I sure enjoyed that round robin art gallery uh, on Zoom. Thank you, Melody, for doing that with the kids. Being able to share your artwork instantly like that. Isn't that cool? I love it. Now, we have Guatemala drawing with us. We have Scotland drawing. We have someone on Russia. Someone from Russia drawing with us this morning. Uh, uh, how do you get into the Zoom? Well, the Zoom is on um, good question. It's my virtual art academy. And these guys are on. We're on week number 34 of 41 weeks. Fine Arts Academy. Go to my website. You can read about it. But this is... This is, uh, I'm going to put the title here. What we call it is Mark Kistler's Daily Zoom Drawing Lessons. And I'll be doing, um, I'll be doing this at least this week and maybe, maybe more. Uh, Mark Kistler's Daily Zoom Drawing Lessons. I just love that, your membership, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mark Kistler's Daily Zoom Drawing Lessons. I'll put the title up here. Uh, drawing lessons. Yahoo! And this is, uh, help me here, Melody and Una and Luca. This is our week, what? This is thirty our 34th week? How many weeks have we been drawing? Well, I have folder, and I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these drawings we've done. Uh, pages and pages and pages. What week is it? I think it's week 34. I think I'm going to put 34. Is that right? Week 34. Uh, we have 41 weeks... Uh, of 41. So we have about seven weeks left. It's very, very exciting. Very cool. We, and then today's date is uh, April 6th, 2021. Week 34, 41, April 6th. And today, this is our 11 a.m. class. I always put the time. All right. So this, this one's looking good, you guys. I'm going to put that little edge coming down here. Take your time. Take your time here. All right. Now, since we're since we're working, we have some space here. Let's do a variation. You know that whenever I do a lesson, I do an embellishment page or two pages where I take the step, which we learned, remember, on the, in this book, we just we just learned to draw just one simple step. That was the lesson, lesson nine. But that was just the beginning, this one here. The fun part is when you do the time levels, very important. To, and the, at the end of each of the 12 lessons, there's all these different levels that I want you to look at these big steps to practice. Practice and draw in 30 seconds. Practice and draw in 60 seconds. Practice this and draw in three minutes. Practice this with no time limit. Look at this variation of steps. We're going to do a variation of steps right now. Uh, let's turn to the embellishment page. Look at all these different embellishments of steps. See this? The different shapes and different different uh, ideas. And here's pictures of my Zoom students. There's Una. And uh, there's Luca right there. No, Luca's right here. There's Luca. And there's uh, Melody. You see Melody there? See? There's our pictures. There's Days from England. There's, there's Fatima. Fatima, there you are, Fatima. Good to see all you guys. So let's uh, let's do a variation. I'm going to close the book. And remember, if you want to get this book, if you're just tuning in, where is my... I had my handy little email here. Where is my... I See, this is what happened. I put it back, and I don't know where I put it here. Where is it? Where is my... Go to my website, which is at the bottom of the paper, right there. It's the bottom of the screen. All right, let's let's do a variation. We have a few minutes that we can draw. 
Now, for this one, we're going to do, do a funky variation. So let's start at the top, put two dots, put your finger in the middle, put a dot above and below, above and below, and I'm going to draw that four short and square. All right, so now, this since let's let's start this step going the opposite direction, okay? Draw the vertical line here, vertical line. Now for this step, go go to the left. Now I'm going to do something different on this one. Watch this. Let's add let's add ideas. Let's change it. For this step, watch this. I'm going to curve it out. See this? I'm going to do a bump here. This will be all bumps. This is going to be a stump of all bumps, a step of all bumps. So I'm going to match that bump over here. I'm going to match that bump. Go uphill in direction. What is that? Direction north, northwest. Following. Okay, that's a good step right there. And then I'll put a little. Oh, this looks like a cash register, an old-fashioned cash register. And then connect it. Now on this side, watch this. On this side, I'm going to do a vertical line here. Uh, not a vertical, I'm sorry, a draw, line in direction northeast. Now on this side, this step will be coming out, but watch, I'm going to curve this one down. Okay, so I'm going to follow these curves. I'm going to match, you match, it's a little tricky, right? Give yourself permission to fail. Give yourself permission to fail. So I'm going to draw this, this step. Now watch this. I'm going to take this, I'm going to curve this one up. This will be interesting. Okay, I'm going to curve this. So this step comes down. Look at this. It's kind of, it makes a slide. And then, see this? I'm going to draw these lines. See these lines line up, going uphill. So I'm going to have this come down. Isn't that kind of fun? Now this, I don't like how this turned out. No problem, no stress. Stress is on the bus. Stress is on the bus, you guys. No anxiety. You guys, you are my cool, creative. You guys are my cool, creative koalas. You guys. Hey, John Kim, how are you? Good to see you, John Kim, on there. Um, oh, so uh, 34. We have 34 on YouTube. That's awesome. How many do we have on Instagram? Good to see you. One. Ha! Here. This, I'm going to darken this in. So I'm going to have this this one go down further. See this? All right. So we have this guy coming down here. And then I want to have, coming out of here, you know what I'm going to have? I want to have a, uh, I want to have one coming out from underneath here. See this? So this one's going to go over, and this one's going to come down. Isn't this fun? Look at this. Isn't this crazy? So I think I'll put a a couple posts holding this up. That goes higher. Look, I'm running out of room. I'm running out of room, you guys. Oh, I gotta move that over. Okay, so this this is getting all confusing. So I'm gonna have this this road go back here. You see this? I think I'll just have this one go. I think I have this one go. It's going to go off into the distance. Look at this. You see that? We have this road. This one picks up. And it picks up and it just goes underneath there and it goes off to the distance underneath there. All right. Now, back here, you'll see the back wall of that. I'm going to shade... So we're taking what we learned in the steps and we're just elaborating, we're embellishing, we're just adding some cool, crazy ideas. Kind of uh, reminiscent of my Secret City days. Remember when I would just put all kinds of X, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a foreshort and kind of like an air conditioner on the side or something here, or a storage container coming up here. Then right here, I'll just put a little wedge Wherever I can, I, I, I just love putting little wedges and cylinders. I'll just put a little wedge right there. All right, so now 
Now, look, it's not perfect. It's all right. Give yourself a chance. Give yourself that freedom to and uh, freedom to explore and try things out. Tomorrow, we'll do a whole nother lesson at 11 o'clock. Uh, I'll be coming on 11 o'clock Central Time, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Today, hope you guys join us on Instagram and on uh, YouTube and on Facebook and on our Zoom Fine Arts Academy. Let's do another Zoom student art gallery. Let me see Melody, Fatima, Una, Luca. Let me see your... Let me see your drawings. Melody's going to grab them and put them up. I wish there was a way I could show this. These are wonderful. Uh, Fatima, these are great. Fatima, you got it. You nailed it. Luca, excellent job. Hey, Luca, did you see the picture? Your picture in the book? Did you see that? Isn't that cool? You're famous. Is that a, is that a stack of pancakes? It looks like you're, that's awesome. It's like your, your canyon has a stack of pancakes in it. That is so cool. I love how you guys are adding your own ideas and adding your extras. All right, let's shade down here. Shade, 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 shade. Now, uh, for the, all of you guys out there in YouTube and Facebook and Instagram world, when you get your book that you ordered, I'm all caught up, so you'll be getting it this week. Will you please, please, please post a picture of you holding the book? I want to see where you're at, what countries I, I ship books out to. Oh, 17 countries to nearly every state in the United States. And uh, just it was just so exciting. But I'd love to have you guys post it. Post a picture of you um, opening the book up. Yay! You're all excited. Oh, my goodness, it's arrived. Yeah, after waiting. Yay! And, and Mario signed a bunch of them, Mario. And some of these books, if you guys order a book, and if you want, look at this. You can ask, and not only will I sign, I'll put your name in it, but we, we'll put a, we'll do, we're doing this. If you guys order a blooper book, you don't have to pay 50 bucks. You can just pay 20 bucks, and I'll, I'll autograph. It's a blooper book. It's missing some pages. We'll include the include the printed pages in the in the book. You'll get the pages. They're just they're, they're bloop. The first thousand of my books are missing pages, like 54 and 57 things like that. But I'll include the pages. Ask, and you can have Mario draw a lawnmower or a vacuum cleaner. See Mario, he and he signs it too. And Mario is even has. Uh, well, hey, Dace from England. Good to see you. Here's Mario's page right here. Mario has a page. Dace, did you get the book yet? Okay, well, we'll be on 11 o'clock tomorrow, Dace, in England. 11 o'clock Central Time, Texas. If you want to order this book, you can't get it from Amazon.com. you got to go to my website at markkissler.com right down there, okay? That was a really fun lesson. Let's, it'll be curious to see what we create for tomorrow's lesson. You know, every day I, I, I'm going to take ideas, embellishment ideas. We started with Lesson 9. We did an embellishment. And I just love it. I think it turned out just great. Do you guys like it? Give me a 1 through 10, 10 being great in the, in the, uh, in your, um, in the chat box there. All right, guys. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad that you uh, all drew with me. Thank you, Luca. Luca gave me a 10 hundred thousand. Thank you, guys. We'll be back tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning Central Time. I'm going to invite the world to join our Fine Arts Academy classes. And we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys? Bye, everybody. So what I Now, here's... This is the... Oh, uh, did you record? stop the recording, Melody? Oh, thanks. All right. Now, here's what I got to do. I got to figure out how to turn everything off in sequence. This is a challenge. I always do this. I, I'm gonna, I guess I'll start with Instagram. This is always hard. Here we go. Because sometimes when I when I do Instagram, I lose it. All right. So let me uh, buy Instagram. And in now. Share to IGTV. I got to do this real quick. And I guess I can change the picture. What do we draw at the very end? Ooh, la, la. Hey, guy, hopefully on Instagram. Um... I'll finish that and say, wait, I'll just do it right now. You can draw. And this is the exhilarating part. You're going to see me type in my title on Instagram. You can draw in 30 seconds. 
live. And then let's draw a monster in a window. Let's draw a, a monster. I can't believe that I'm doing this with still still streaming. Mario. Mario came in the room. Hey, Mario. Let's draw a monster in a doorway. Okay. And add to series. This I always lose Instagram, so I just got to do it so I, the phone won't lose it. All right. I saved Instagram. Hallelujah. So it's on Instagram. Now I'm going to go ahead and shut down on the uh, YouTube and Facebook. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for drawing.